Hi, my name is Skip Stewart, the Chief Improvement Officer for Baptist Memorial Healthcare. What we're going to look at today is a TWI, a training within industry job in the world of the clinic. But specifically, we're going to look at job instructions. A lot of times when people hear TWI, they don't know what element we're talking about. There is the job relations element. There is also a job method element, but what we're going to talk about is the job instructions. Another way to think about job instructions is how do we create a standard behavior? How do we create a standard behavior that moves us towards a target condition? What we do in job instructions is we break down the job and we demystify it. We break it down into important steps, key points, and reasons for the key points. Then we feather it into the learner's brain and we build upon it as we're doing that. So once again, we're working towards a target condition. So the TWI job instructions becomes a countermeasure to help us move towards that target condition. It's not the only countermeasure, but it sure is a powerful one. So on that note, Glenn, tell us a little bit about this job and what target condition are we actually trying to move towards? Sure. This job is basically shipping specimen using dry eyes. And what we've noticed in our research department that we had a lot of variation in the way that this job was being shipped, which was causing a lot of issues on the back end where we were having to rework and trying to obtain specimens. Or basically it was becoming uh, an issue with the shipping where the person opening it could be potential hazards. So I really liked how you said that. So make sure I say that right. So as you were investigating your current condition, you discovered that there was a lot of variation from worker to worker, and that variation was causing errors and mistakes. So you needed a standard behavior to help you move towards that target condition. Absolutely, that's what was happening. Fantastic, well, let's look at this job then. Well, uh, today what we're going to be doing, since you're new to the research department, we're going to be shipping specimens using dry ice. Have you ever done anything like that before? No. Okay. Never been around dry ice at all? Or no. Have you ever shipped anything from a boxes or a packed Christmas presents or anything? No. Okay. Well, good. Well, the good thing about it is I've done this for a long time, so I'll show you how to do that using uh, our method that we do with TWI Job Instructions. Uh, what I want to do is uh, tell you a little bit about the job itself. Um, the purpose of shipping these uh, specimens uh, the correct way is that if we don't do this correctly, then what we have to do is go back to the patient and get another sample. And so you can imagine their frustration if we go out and try to ask them for another sample. Oh, yeah. Then it causes a lot of frustration to the patient, in which we don't want to do that. So this job is really important, making sure that we ship that correctly. All right, so we're gonna do this job. Uh, we're gonna do this job several different times so okay. that you can get an understanding of how to do it. We're gonna do this with just the important steps, and then we'll do the job again with important steps and key points. And then we'll do the job one more time with important steps, key points, and reasons. Okay. So, and then once we do that, I'm gonna have you do the job, and I'm gonna watch what you do, sort of observe you, and then I'm gonna have you go through and list the important steps, key points, and the reasons behind that. So are you ready? Ready to get started? Yeah, I think so. Great. So first thing we're going to do is go over the important steps only of the job. And so the first important step that we're going to do shipping specimen using dry ice is we're going to prepare the containers. So we have our containers back here. So what you're going to do is grab two boxes. And the first important step is to prepare the container. Okay. second important step is, is to put glove on. The second important step is to put glove on. Okay. okay. Yeah. The third important step is to fill styrofoam container with dry ice. Okay. Third important step is to fill styrofoam container with dry ice. Okay. Our fourth important step is to prepare specimen and paperwork in the styrofoam container. Okay. okay. Our fifth important step is to close the lid on the styrofoam container. Close the lid on the styrofoam container. And our last and sixth important step is to close the lid of shipping container. Okay. 
And that's how we ship the specimen using dry ice, okay? Okay. So we're going to do the job again. And this time I'm going to go over the six important steps. Okay. And then I'm going to go over the key points for each important step. Okay. Right. So our first important step is to prepare the container. Okay. It has one key point. Okay. And the key point is to place the styrofoam container inside the shipping container, right? So first important step is to prepare the containers. Okay. Key point is place styrofoam container inside the shipping container. Okay. The second important step is to put the glove on. Okay. It has one key point. The key point is slide glove on as normal. We done. Okay. okay. Second important step is put glove on. One key point is to slide the glove on as normally done. Okay. The third important step is to fill styrofoam container with dry ice. It actually has two key points. So the first key point is to use the scoop. Okay. Okay. Second key point for this important step, Paul, is to leave enough space to put the specimen in. Okay? Okay. Second key point is to leave enough space to put the specimen in. Okay. okay. Our fourth important step is be, is be place prepared specimen and paperwork in the styrofoam container. Okay? Yep. It actually has one important key. It actually has one key point. Mm -hmm. The key point is to follow the instruction. Follow the instruction inside the specimen. Okay. Okay. So it has one key point, and that's to follow the instruction inside the specimen. Okay. The fifth important step is to close the lid of the styrofoam container. And it has one key point. And the key point is to place the lid on the styrofoam container, but don't secure it. Okay. Place it on the top and don't secure it. Okay. And the sixth important step is to close the lid of the shipping container. It has one key point, and that key point is to apply two to three strips of tape. Okay. All right. So we're going to do this job one more time, Paul. And in this time, what we're going to do is I'm going to do the important steps, the six important steps. We're going to go over the important steps and the key points to each important step. Okay. And then also we're going to go over the important steps, the key points, and the reasons for the key points. Okay? Okay. So the first important step to this job is prepare the container. Right? First important step is to pre prepare the container. It has one key point. And the key point is to place the styrofoam container inside the shipping container with the open ends up. Okay? And the reason we do that is so it allows the dry ice to be placed in the styrofoam container with the right amount. Okay? Okay. Okay. The second important step is to put the glove on. It has one key point, and that's to slide on as normally done. Okay? And the reason we do that because it protects the hands from getting burnt by the dry ice. Okay. okay. All right. The third important step is to fill the container with dry ice. Okay. It has two key points. First key point is to use the scoop. And the second key point is back up the using the scoop. You want to use the scoop. The reason you do that is to protect the hands and protect basically the environment from being uh, damaged. Okay. The second key point was to leave enough space to ship the specimen. Okay. The reason you do that because if it's too full, it won't close. Mm -hmm. Okay. The fourth important step is is place specimen and paperwork inside the container. Okay. Okay. It has one key point. That key point is to follow the instructions for preparing the specimen and lab work. So the key point is to follow the instructions for the specimen mm -hmm. and the paperwork. The reason we do that is because each lab that we ship has their own instructions on how to ship the specimen. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, yeah. The fifth important step is to close the lid of the styrofoam container. It has one key point, and that key point is to place the lid of the styrofoam container and don't secure. Okay. And the reason we do that is, is because if it's secure and too tight, then it's in danger of exploding uh, on the person that opens it. Okay. Okay. The sixth important step is to close the shipping container. It has one key point. Okay. And that key point is to apply two or three strips of shipping tape. The reason we do that, because we want to make sure that the shipping container is secure and it doesn't open. Okay. So. Okay. So that's the job. What do you think? I think I can do it. Perfect. Okay. Okay. So Paul, what we're going to do is I'm going to have you do this job. Okay. okay? And I'm going to uh, have you do this job uh, four different times. The first time I just want you to go through the job and I'm going to watch and observe you and correct any errors that you may have while you go through the job. Okay. Okay. Second time I'm going to have you do it just going through just the important steps that we went over. Okay. I'll have you do it again, doing the important steps and the key points. Okay. And then we'll do it one last time doing the important steps, the key points, and the reasons for those key points. Okay? All right. All right. So we're ready. So I'm going to have you come right here. Yes. Okay. And when you're ready, let's go ahead and I want to observe you doing the job and I'll correct any uh, errors that you have. Okay? All right. And you don't need to tell you what I'm doing. Just, just do it. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's put just a little bit more in there just to make sure we got enough content in there. Okay. Great, and that leaves just enough room for the specimen. Well, that is a better gun. Yeah, so that's good. So I just want to go ahead and rub that down and make sure. Okay. Um, I think I'm done. Very good. Yep. Actually, you've done very well with that. Uh, look like you, you observed very well. So what I want you to do now is go through this job one more time. Uh -huh. Remember, there were six important steps to start off with. Okay. And so I want you to do the job and just as we go through the job, I want you to read back the six important steps as you do that. Okay. All righty. The first important step was to... Prepare containers. That's right. Mm -hmm. um, the second important step was to put on glove. That's correct. Um, the third important step was to fill styrofoam container with dry ice. Very good. would be the fourth okay, important the fourth step, important step mm -hmm. was to uh, place the prepared specimen and paperwork inside the styrofoam container. Correct. Uh, the fifth important step was to uh, close styrofoam container. Close the lid of styrofoam Sty container. Close the lid of styrofoam container. That's right. And then the sixth important step was to close the shipping container. That's right. Close the lid of, close, star, of shipping container. Close the lid. Close the lid of shipping container. Shipping container. Mm -hmm.
Right. So good job. Very well done. So I think you you've shipped some stuff before. You at least wrap some presents. Looks like I'm good at wrapping presents. Yeah. Okay, so let's do this job one more time. We're going to do it again. And this time, what we're going to do is we're going to go through the job and do the important steps and each key point to the important steps, okay? Okay. All right. All right, so the first important step was to prepare the containers. Right. Um, it had one, one key point. That's right. That was to place the styrofoam container inside the shipping container with the open ends facing up. That's correct. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Okay. Uh, the second important step was to place glove. Put glove on. Put glove on. Okay, put glove on. And it was slide on like you normally do. That's right. Okay. Slide on as normal. Okay. Um, the third important step was to fill styrofoam container with dry ice. That's correct. And it has oh, how many key there's points? There's two, two key points. Right. Uh, one key point is to use the scoop. That's correct. And the second important step is to leave room for the specimen. Leave space for specimen. Right. Fourth important step was to place the prepared specimen and paperwork inside the styrofoam container. Perfect. And there was one key point. Right. And it was to prepare the specimen and paperwork. No. So it's to follow instructions. That's right. Follow instructions. Right. Um, for, pre for preparing a specimen and paperwork. Perfect. Okay. Uh, the fifth important step is to place lid on the styrofoam container. Right. Close the lid of styrofoam Close container. Close lid of styrofoam container. Mm -hmm. uh, place the lid. Don't use tape. Okay, so the f has one key point. One key point. That's right, one key point that is don't use tape. Right, so place the lid on the styrofoam container, but don't secure it. Ah, uh, don't secure. Okay. So place, so it has one yeah. key point. Yes. Place the lid on the styrofoam container, okay. but don't secure. But don't secure, okay. And then the sixth important step is to close shipping container. Right. It has one key point. Right. It's used two to three pieces of tape. Correct. I think I'm done. Good job. Good job. So we're going to do this job one more time. Okay. Again. And so okay. that's right. So this time I want you to do the important steps. Okay. The key points. Okay. And each reason for the key points. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's try this. All right. Yeah. All right. So uh, the first important step is to prepare containers. Correct. It has one key point and it is to... Put the styrofoam container inside of the shipping container with the open ends facing up. That's correct. And the reason is so that you can put, you can put dry ice inside the styrofoam container. That's right. So it allows. That's right. Okay. Exactly right. Um, the second important step mm -hmm. is to put on glove. Okay. Um, it has one key point. It's to slide it on like you normally do. Right. Uh, it, the reason is so that you don't burn your hand or the environment. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the third important step is to fill styrofoam container with dry ice. That's right. It has two key points. Correct. The first key point is to use the scoop. Okay. And the reason for that is so you don't burn your hand. Okay. Um, the second key point is to allow space at the, to allow space for the specimen. That's perfect. Yep. And so, and the reason? 
Oh, the reason is um, if you get it too full, it's hard to close. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, the uh, fourth important step is to place the prepared specimen and paperwork inside the styrofoam container. That's correct. Um, and the reason, uh, one key point, right. and that is to follow the instructions um, for preparing the paperwork and specimen. And the reason is because each lab has their preferred way of doing it. Correct. Okay. Um, the fifth important step is to close the styrofoam container. Close the lid of styrofoam container. Close the lid of styrofoam container. Okay. And um, that's one key point. It's to place the lid on top of the styrofoam container. Uh, do not secure. Right. And the reason for that is um, if it's too tight, it could explode. That's exactly right. Yep. Okay. The sixth important step is to close lid of styrofoam container. Shipping container. Shipping container. Oh, yes, shipping container. Mm -hmm. And then uh, it has one key point, right. and it is to use uh, two to three pieces of tape. Right. Okay. And it has one other oh, reason right. is that it keeps the contents inside the box. Perfect. Great. Right. So very good. Yep. So you've really caught on to this job really well. And I think that, you know, as you do this job more often, you're really going to get a lot better at it. Uh, I think you're very good at it now. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm, there's probably about 10 more uh, specimens that we have to do. So yeah, what I'm going to do okay. is uh, basically uh, have you do uh, those 10 and I'll be by to check on you uh, in the next hour. Okay. Now, if, uh, if you want to, uh, Jeannie in the next room over here, she's been in the research department for yep. 10 years. And okay. so she's very uh, aware of how to do this job. Okay. So in my absence, if you want to go ask her, if you have any questions, you can ask her. Okay. Do you have any questions for me at this time about the job? <clears throat> no, I, I think I've got it. Okay, good. Well, as you keep doing it, you'll get uh, regular uh you know, good okay. at this job, and uh, what I'll do is uh, I'll come back weekly to check on you as well, okay. uh, in and out. So, if you have any questions, by all means, Jenny's next door, or right. uh, I'll be back in an hour to check on you. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Well, I'm gonna get started then. All right. Thanks, Paul. Thank you.